Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how to add groups in Confluence Cloud. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood about the users. Now let's understand how you can add groups. Now navigating to adding the group option and adding the groups is absolutely simple. Prior to that, let's understand why do you need groups. So say for example, you have a group of developers within your team and within your organization and developers perform very specific task, right? So in order to restrict a particular group of people who are having the role of a developer so you can either have a role and group and there is very minute difference basically not minute difference there is a different purpose of having role and groups but to simplify it groups are created to add the members or the team members in that particular group so that you can add a particular access or provide a particular permission to that whole group and you do not have to provide one by one permission to each of the developer within your organization and that's the whole purpose of having groups you cannot restrict or it's it, be, it becomes really tedious if you have thousands of people working in your team and organization and there are hundreds of developers and you only need to provide access to certain tools to developers and nobody else then you create a group and you assign permissions to the groups and if somebody joins uh, new joins as a developer you add that person to that particular group and that person will have access to those tools by default. So that's the whole point of creating groups in Confluence and managing or making sure the, your permission management and the access management is easier. So in order to add the groups, you simply have to be the admin. So if you are the administrator, go to the cog wheel in the settings right hand side. And once you open the settings here, you will go to the user management. So either you can click on the user management here. So once you click on user management, it will open this admin.atlassian.com, which is the site admin for that particular site right and it will open the user management section or from here you can scroll down and you will see that under security you have the user so we have covered users already and in order to add the groups you can click on the groups so if you click on groups it will again redirect you to the same ad admin.classian page okay so now from here you can simply add the group you can simply click on this create group button to create the group now by default because i have jira and confluence in this particular site rcv academy one you will see that there are some default groups already created for example administrators so administrators will have access to product and product administration okay then confluence users will have access to product so any user that you will add as part of the confluence will by default be added in the confluence users group and then that user will have access to that particular product okay which is basically the default access group for confluence and this is the default access group for the jira software then jira administrators which is basically granting access to administer features of the jira and site admins are the administ administrators who administer the site right as i have shown you if i go to this atlassian administration we have the org level admin so organization and then below organization we have site and below site we have all the atlassian products that you will be signing up for in the atlassian cloud okay so let me go back and add one particular group so i'll create a group click on create group i'll provide the name as developers and i will provide the description so this is developers group so you can provide a proper description for the group so i'll simply say this is developers group and then if you check this checkbox it will ask you to add the members in the next step if you don't it will simply add the group so let me check this and show you how you can go ahead and add these members okay so i'll click on create group and the group developers will be created now it will move to the next step where i can click on add members at the moment you can see there are no group members here i can add the members button here and because there is just one user in this particular instance i can select that user and click on on add and that member will be part of this developers group to remove this particular user simply click on remove link here to delete the group click on this delete group button here okay and you can click on edit description to edit the description and then change the description and save it again 
Okay. Now the next important thing is about the group access. So this group currently has no product access if you see. So because you have added this group, it doesn't mean that it will have by default access to the product. So we have two products here, right? So we can click on edit group access and you can see that what product access this group has. Okay. So at the moment, Jira software, how many groups have access to the Jira software? Administrators, Jira software users and so site admins. And then in the confluence, confluence users, site admins and administrators have access to these products, but the group developers doesn't have access to any of the product. So if you want to give access to confluence or Jira, then I'll simply click on say, for example, add group. So in the confluence and I'll select that particular group that I have added and click on add groups and now any member who is part of the developers refresh it so that you can see so now after refreshing you can see that under the confluence developers group has been added and any member who is part of the developers group is having access to confluence okay so that's how you will create the group and add the members to the group in confluence cloud or in the cloud instance of Atlassian and then give access to different products. Now, if this member is part of the developers group and then this member is also part of Jira software users group, right? So then this person will be having access to Confluence as well as he'll be ha having access to Jira software. So you have to make sure whenever you are adding the users and adding them to the groups, you have to ensure that they are added into the right set of group, which has only the specific permission that you want to provide to those particular users. All right. So that's all about how you can add groups in the cloud instance of Jira and Confluence uh, cloud and then provide them access to the products within the cloud instance of Confluence. So I hope this was helpful and clear. Thank you very much for watching.